Hello, my name is Alessio Bernardelli and I'm uh, the Science Field Development Officer at NGFL Cymru. I'm here today to show you this mind map on the kinetic theory that I created using Prezi. The kinetic theory applies to heat transfers uh, like conduction, which mainly um, happens in solids. So if you have a non-metal, the heat transfer by conduction from a hotter region to a cooler region of the solid happens mainly locally and therefore it's slower. And it happens because of the collisions between neighboring particles. These collisions cause the transfer of kinetic energy from one particle to the other. If you have a metal, the situation is a little bit different because you have free electrons as some of the particles. These free electrons are free to move about and therefore they are able to move much quicker uh, in between the atoms of the metal, which are much bigger. And as they move about, they also collide, they hit these atoms and cause the overall uh, structure of the uh, metal to become, uh, to, to gain energy. And there is a faster transfer of heat energy by conduction. Conduction also happens in liquids and gases, but it happens because of the motion, the movement of the molecules of gas and liquids. This motion is random and therefore the collisions uh, cause the diffusion of the molecules of gas and liquids. And that's how uh, conduction in liquids and gases happens. But the main heat transfer of, heat transfer of gases and liquids is heat convection. Heat convection happens because the particles of a liquid and the particles of a gas are free to move about. And therefore, if you go to a region of hotter um, air, for example, the particles will have more energy, which means that they will be more spread out. And therefore, they will be less dense which means that that region of hotter gas will be lighter, hence rise. But if we concentrate on a region of colder gas, the particles will be close together. They will be denser and therefore that region will be heavier, which means that there is less energy in the particles, hence that region of particles will sink. The kinetic theory applies to gases and uh, it studies the uh, interaction between the pressure, the volume and the temperature of a gas. So the pressure is affected by the volume because when the volume of the gas is compressed and is smaller, that means that the particles of the gas will be close together and there will be more collisions between the gas particles and also between the gas particles and the walls of the container, which will cause the pressure to increase. But when the volume is larger, that means that there will be more space for the particles to uh, move about. There will be less collisions, which also means that the pressure will be lower. But when the temperature is low, there will be less kinetic energy um, to the particles of uh, the gas, and therefore the pressure will be lower. But as the temperature increases, there will be more kinetic energy applied to the particles of gas, and more kinetic energy means a higher pressure. I hope you enjoyed this uh, mind map of the kinetic theory and that you will use Prezi and other um, ICT tools to create interesting mind maps and very effective tools to revise any topic and any subject.